Russell Westbrook is already a dominant player without having a great three ball. He attacks the paint and pulls up for that smooth mid-range jumper like no one else. And doing all this, he's already hard to guard. But just imagine how dominant and unguardable Russell Westbrook would be if he had Curry's range and three-point abilities. Just thinking about it, he'd be in the conversation for the greatest of all time at the end of his career. And just thinking about it is scary. Before we get into the scenario, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'm on the grind right now. I'm trying to hit 40k subscribers. And also, I already did this experiment with LeBron James, though. So just imagine how dominant LeBron James would be if he had Steph Curry's shooting abilities. A link to that video will be in the description. I highly suggest you watch that before you watch this one. All right, so here is the Thunder roster. Here is Russell Westbrook. He is a high 97 overall, and look at his three-pointer. He has an A-plus three-pointer. What I did was I took Curry's jump shooting stats, outside scoring stats, and mid-range stats, and just copied them onto Russell Westbrook. So now Russell Westbrook is an exact copy of Steph Curry and his shooting abilities. I also copied Steph Curry's badges, his hot zones, and his tendencies. So Westbrook has an 88 mid-range with a 99 three ball this is gonna be scary and just so you guys can confirm these are all westbrook's jump shooting tendencies the same as steph curry you could check for yourself there you go same exact hot zones and same exact outside scoring badges except curry has a bronze mid-range dead eye and westbrook already had a silver mid-range dead eye so Westbrook's gonna stick with the silver one. So I'm gonna simulate to the end of the season, but before I do that, I want you guys to comment down below how many points per game Russell Westbrook will average with Curry's three-point ability and just adding to that offensive repertoire he has now. His scoring might not be that much up there because he has Paul George and Melo on his team, but I still expect him to put up great numbers. I say he puts up 38 points per game. That's my prediction. And he's gonna win the MVP award also. Add that as a bonus. So we're gonna simulate to the end of the season and we'll just look at his stats. One more game to simulate against the Grizzlies. He comes out with the W and no MVP is Russell Westbrook. Averaging 30 points, 11 and a half boards, nine assists, almost another triple double average season for Russell Westbrook. Add 2.3 steals to that. He shot 50% from the field, 94% from the line and 45% from three. Those are monstrous numbers on efficient shooting too all nba first team got westbrook and curry with lebron paul george also making it he averaged 29 points eight boards 4.4 assists and two steals in his first season with the thunder he also got boogie on the all nba first team all right let's take a look at russell westbrook's numbers again we already saw his points per game and stuff let's see how many three pointers he took and made he attempted 913 three-pointers, made 411 of them. Now let's look at Curry's. Curry took over 1,000 and made 467. And Curry is shooting slightly better from three than Russell Westbrook. But look at the big three in OKC, all averaging over 20 points. And Paul George and Westbrook, high 20s, low 30s. And here are the standings in the Western Conference. You got the Warriors and the Thunder rounding out the top two then you got the rockets the clippers the nuggets the jazz the timberwolves and the spurs as for the east you got the hornets as the one seed and then the bucks as the two seed and the Cavs as the three seed what is this sixers four raptors pistons celtics and wizards all the way down to eighth seed i don't know about that so here's the playoff bracket in the first round the thunder are facing the minnesota timberwolves let's see if russell westbrook takes over simulate current round hopefully we don't get swept oh instead we sweep them that's good and in the second round we're facing the houston rockets which should be a good series we're gonna simulate this one here are the playoff stats for the thunder paul george led the team in scoring not russell westbrook wow but westbrook 24 points nine and nine boards and assists attempted 9.3 three pointers a game made 3.8 of them same as paul george except he made more he shot more efficient from three than russell westbrook what all right let's simulate this game by game against the houston rockets the thunder take game one and westbrook drops a triple double in that game takes 16 three pointers misses 10 of them and Melo did his thing this game game two oh they tied up at one game apiece 
Russell Westbrook, another triple-double, still no efficient scoring from him. This time Paul George led the way in scoring. Game three, we take the lead, and Westbrook with another triple-double. That's three triple-doubles in a row for Westbrook, and Paul George with 32. Game four, we take a 3-1 lead against the Houston Rockets, and Westbrook, just look at these numbers, his fourth straight triple-double. Game five, can we close out the series? No, we lose by two, and they narrow our lead in the series. Westbrook did not get a triple-double this game but he did lead the team in scoring. Oh, they forced a game seven, just what I didn't want to happen. Chris Paul drops 16 assists while Westbrook drops 15 and 33 points. Took 20 three-pointers, made nine of them. Wow. All right, game seven, we're gonna sim cast this one. Hopefully we don't lose, we gotta move on. Westbrook didn't have to dominate, it's close. Mid fourth quarter, we have a nice five point lead. Oh no, it's getting close. It's a tie game with just a few minutes remaining. Three point lead, five point lead. Oh, are we closing the game out? Are we gonna take this game? Seven victory, yes we do. We beat the Houston Rockets by eight points in game seven. And Westbrook with the 38 point triple double. He went off this game, he even shot efficiently and in the western conference finals we got a thunder versus warriors matchup it's gonna be kd versus westbrook in the playoffs we're also gonna simulate this game by game the warriors take game one as westbrook grabs 15 boards and drops 30. game two we're down 0 to 2. westbrook with a triple double but needs to score the rock how is andre roberson roberson however you say his name the leading scorer that's a problem. If he makes five three-pointers and he... What? This makes no sense. He has a 63 three-pointer. How did he make five for seven? I don't get it. But here we go. Game three and we're down 3-0 against the Warriors. We got completely blown out that game. Westbrook scored this time. Paul George scored. The big three scored, but no one else did. And Steph Curry. We let Steph Curry drop 50 on us. All right. Game four. Four. We're gonna simcast this one. Can we at least make it close? No, we are getting blown out. We are getting blown out. We're about to get swept by the Warriors. All right, two minutes left, down 10. I'm gonna jump in and hopefully lead the comeback with Russell Westbrook. Before we do anything, look at the settings. It's on Hall of Fame and it's on Hall of Fame sliders, obviously. And Westbrook has 24, 16, and 9. Can he lead the comeback? Oh no, Curry for three over Roberson. Westbrook grabs his 17th board. Westbrook with the crossover. Westbrook pulls up with the 99 three ball and doesn't get the bounce. Kevin Durant with the ball, gives it to Clay who is tired. We can't let him score, we gotta get another stop here. Roberson locking up Clay and he just pulls it and gets that roll, you're kidding. All right, Westbrook, you have Curry guarding you. Step it back. Westbrook pull that. Heavily contested. Doesn't matter. He has Curry shooting abilities. All right. We can't let him dribble the ball. We got to double, bro. We got to start doubling. We get the steal. We get the steal. Give it to Westbrook. Westbrook, don't lose it. All right, Westbrook. You need to make something happen, bro. That was almost a backcourt. Westbrook. Westbrook fading in Curry's face. I didn't really expect that to go in. Double again, bro. We can't just let him stand there and dribble. We need another steal. And we just fell apart and they get the and one. Westbrook wide open hit and drills that one. That is his 30th point of the ball game. Unfortunately, it won't be enough. Westbrook wide open, pulls that. It was a bad release and he misses, wow. And that's gonna do it for this game. I didn't really expect to come back and win this game. I just wanted to try out Westbrook's 99 three-pointer to be honest. So Westbrook in that game had 30, 17 and nine. Paul George didn't want to show up this game, but he did fill the stat sheet. And unfortunately, we get swept in the Western Conference Finals. Let's see who the Warriors face in the finals. The Cavs and the Warriors win in seven. Can you believe that? And Curry is your finals MVP averaging 34 points. And here are Westbrook's final playoff numbers. 27 points, 12 boards, just about a triple-double with 10 assists, 2.3 steals. Led the team in scoring, and he shot 44% from beyond the line. 
Not to mention he shot 97% at the free throw line. And yeah, that's gonna do it. If we could hit a thousand likes, that would be appreciated. Let me know some video ideas in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed, appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.